So the new year is coming in fast and I want you to be the most stylish man you can be next year. Period. Let's make the TMF fam one of the most stylish ones next year. To the point that when people see you out in the street be like, whoa, it's a stylish guy right there. He must be part of the TMF family. Let's do it. So in today's video, we're going to go over some of the top men's style trends for 2018 seen by the major fashion houses. So make sure you keep an eye out. A lot of this stuff was seen during Paris Fashion Week and Milan Fashion Week, both in street fashion and on the runway. So you can be rest assured that a lot of fast fashion stores are going to be pumping it out next year. So if you want to be ahead of the curve, here are some of the top men's style trends you could start doing. Quick disclaimer. All of these are just trends. I don't make them. So some of them I agree with, some of them I don't agree with them. I'm just here to show you all the trends. Number one, this one's taking over by storm. Fanny packs and cross body bags. This is basically the new backpack. I was in Europe the other day in Paris and literally everywhere I was looking, there was guys with cross body bags and fanny packs across their chest, rocking them left and right. And some are basically a male purse with a cross body bag. Some are just a satchel that they're wearing across their chest. Either way, it's definitely trending and it's definitely going to pick up for the new year. Am I a fan of them? Not really, but hey, I don't make the trend. Number two is color block. As of recently, a lot of the colors for spring and summer have been a lot of neutrals. Well, now a lot of color blocking was seen on the runway. So it looks like vibrant colors are back for spring and summer, especially seen on the runways of Raph Simmons. Number three, athletic wear. I don't think this one's a surprise. This has been on for a couple seasons now and it looks like it's not going away anytime soon. Brands like Adidas, Nike, Omora are all great for athletic wear. The only downside, it gets pricey. If you are online shopping, I strongly suggest you download the free extension called Honey. It only takes two clicks to download. It's unobtrusive, so it won't be popping up all the time. What it does is it works on the back end. So when you're online shopping for this stuff, it's quickly looking for all the coupons online to see if there's a coupon it can apply at checkout. It'll automatically apply it at checkout without you having to do any work and you just save tons of money. So if you do a lot of online shopping, you could potentially save thousands. Time Magazine calls Honey basically free money. So if you want to catch up with any of these trends, you're probably going to be doing some shopping to revamp your wardrobe. And if it's online, you need to have Honey on your browser. Like I said, it's completely free and it's the best way to save money online. But tagging along with that athletic and athleisure wear, a lot of sports team repping was seen on the streets of Milan and Paris. So you're seeing a lot of guys mix aspects of sports team, which makes sense. A lot of athletes are becoming style icons themselves, which are influencing the culture, like David Beckham, Dwayne Wade, Russell Westbrook. So therefore, you're seeing a surge of a lot of guys repping sports teams with their athletic wear. A good way to try this trend without investing too much into it, try something like socks. I've seen athletic socks that have NBA logos, NFL, whatever your sports team is, that you can mix with your athletic or athleisure wear without having to invest too much money into it. The fifth trend you're seeing pick up a lot is loose tailoring. As if the wave wasn't creeping up already, a lot of loose trousers were seen on the runway of Milan and Paris Fashion Week. Personally, again, I'm not a huge fan of them. I still stick to the tailored trouser. I feel it makes guys look better, but they do seem to be making a very strong comeback, and I won't be surprised one or two years from now when that's the norm. Number six, black is back. Not that black was ever gone or never unstylish, but you would never wear it during spring and summer. It's just not the color of the season, but now it seems like it is. It was a trending color for the spring summer collections for both Ballman and Alexander McQueen. So you can expect to see a lot of black probably in your H&Ms and your Zaras and your Paxons for the next couple of seasons. And finally, number seven, a trend that I saw both on the runways and on the streets of both fashion weeks, wearing all white head to toe. Definitely not an easy look to pull off without looking like some sort of mobster, but it was prevalent and a lot of fashion designers had it on stage for next year's collection. So it's pretty safe to say that that's gonna be a popular color palette you're gonna be seeing a lot during spring and summer next year. All right, boys, so that's it for this week's video. Those are the top six trends that I saw both on the street and the runways of both Paris and Milan Fashion Week. So that means next year, those are probably going to be trending. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Honey. Like I said, it's free and it saves you money. Go ahead and check out that link below. That's it for me today. See you next time.